Hello friends, I am Dr. Rohidas Nitonde, the stride coordinator at MSP Mandals, Sri Shivaji College, Parvani, Maharashtra. In this video, I am going to explain you UGC's new scheme called stride. The full form of stride is scheme for transdisciplinary research for India's developing economy. Through this scheme, MHRD is providing fund to the UGC 2F and 12B recognized institutions and its faculty as well as research scholars to undertake the interdisciplinary research projects which are action research projects. Let us learn about this scheme in detail. Here you can find the screenshot of the official website for UGC scheme called Stride. On the very home page itself, we come to know about the title of this scheme. Stride stands for Scheme for Transdisciplinary Research for India's Developing Economy. Its official website is stride.bhu.ac.in. On this website, you can get all the details about this scheme and even here we can apply for online application for the scheme. Let us know about this program. What is this program? The stride is here to build the research capacity and that is why this is the scheme which supports to the research scholars, young faculty as well as mid-career faculty. Here for this purpose UGC has also set up an advisory committee headed by Professor Bhushan Patwardhan, the vice chairman of UGC. Let us know the introduction. In this scheme, the quality of doctoral research is to be improved. So, to promote quality research by faculty as well as students is also an important aim of this scheme. And that is why it is research capacity building scheme, particularly focusing on transdisciplinary research. It also gives importance to the humanities and human sciences. Through this scheme, UGC wants to build up a strong networking of experts across the country. And that is why UGC has brought this scheme. For this scheme, you need to choose a topic that is in line with national priorities and also supports innovations and entrepreneurship. These are the key ideas behind this scheme. Actually, the stride will support the following innovative research projects. There are four types of research projects. The projects that are socially relevant, locally need based, nationally important and globally significant. If you have an idea that befits all the four points uh, here, then you are the right person and this is the right time for you to apply for UGC scheme called Stride. Once again, I would repeat, the idea should be socially relevant, locally need based, nationally important and globally significant. If it is there with you, you are the right person that UGC is looking for. What is the scope of this scheme? The main scope is to create the research environment for the promising graduate, postgraduate and research students to equip them to undertake quality research and attain excellence in research. Here, action-oriented research is expected. 
and that is why high impact research among motivated faculty is also promoted through this scheme further as already i told you this scheme will create a network of eminent researchers in identified thrust areas of humanities and human sciences from leading institutes in the country here are the main objectives of the scheme and you will find that in the first objective we come to know that the scheme is to identify young talent to strengthen research culture to build capacity promote innovations support transdisciplinary research relevant to national development and to enhance the overall well being of society see india is a public welfare state and in such countries the public goodwill is the natural responsibility of the government and that is why through ugc ministry of education uh, government of india is promoting research that will be helpful for common people in the country so the second objective is to fund high impact national network projects in the identified thirst areas in humanities and human sciences and indian knowledge system we know that india has a great tradition of learning and teaching so this indian knowledge system is to be explored through the stride the next thing is there are three major components for this scheme component number 1 is research capacity building and human resource development component number 2 is transdisciplinary research and inclusive innovation for national development and the third component is high impact transdisciplinary research in humanities and human sciences there are 12 branches identified by the university grants commission as the thirst areas but still it is not limited to those 12 branches or it is not the purely arts scheme it is the scheme having relevance with many other disciplines and that is why its title is aptly transdisciplinary scheme what is this component number 1 the component number 1 of this scheme will tell us that it is to identify the motivated young talents and research and innovation aptitude in universities and colleges as you know that i am the coordinator of the ugc beneficiary of this stride scheme component number 1 in the first component the scheme will provide research capacity building opportunities in diverse disciplines by mentoring nurturing and supporting young talents here the basic aim is to mentor to nurture and to support the young talent and that is why component number 1 is called as as you know research capacity building and human resource development component number 2 is slightly different here you can see that it is for mainly focused on enhancing problem solving skills here the skills entitled the problem solving are important with the help of inclusive innovation and action research to innovate pragmatic solutions for local regional national priorities to contribute india's developing economy here we come to know that the scheme is basically meant component 2 of the scheme is basically meant for transdisciplinary research and action research where in the mid career scholars can contribute significantly for the national development of our country the third component is not a cup of everybody's here you have to understand that it is for those people who are really having significant impact in 
their discipline. So, stride component number three will fund high impact research projects. So, young scholars are not eligible to apply for stride component three because still they have not created any impact in the field of their studies. So, high impact research projects in the identified thirst areas in humanities and human sciences through multi institutional network of experts in 12 identified field by university grants commission. So, component number 3 is only for the experts. So, let us once again remind ourselves that component number 1 is for PG students, research scholars and young faculty and in this the beneficiary institutes are supposed to mentor, nurture and support the young talent with the help of its senior faculty or some uh, superannuated faculty or external experts. In the component number 2, the enhancing of the problem solving skills is important. Here innovation and action research is uh, important. We are expected to carry the transdisciplinary research and mid-career people are apt to apply for this. The third component of stride is for multidisciplinary and high impact research projects. The experts at the stage of professor grade can hope for applying for the component number 3. What are the unique features of stride? Stride is a scheme which as I already said caters to all the three categories of the researchers, PG students, research scholars for doctoral or postdoctoral research, the assistant professors, associate professors and professors grade people also. So, involvement of young talent, students, undergraduate and postgraduates, research fellows, doctoral and postdoctoral, young faculty that is what newly recruited faculty, assistant professors early in the career for minor research projects or for startup grants, UGC funds them through this scheme. 